How's it going everybody? This is Austin Caro with Attack Line Leather. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. To all my recent followers, thank you all so much for following and supporting me. Thank you for all the awesome questions and recommendations. Um, I hear y'all and I'm going, I'm, I'm making a, a list right now to, to make all those videos that y'all are requesting. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over how I uh, took a Harbor Freight shop press and turned it into a clicker press. This is a pretty common idea. There's a lot of people that do it. However, there's not a ton of video on um, how much it costs, where you can get uh, clicker dies and cutting boards and stuff like that. So I hope to answer a lot of those questions and uh, kind of give y'all a uh, kind of a boost to uh, expand your shop and to uh, do it on a budget. And so with that, I hope y'all stick around and enjoy this video. All right, guys, uh, before I get into this video, I just want to state clearly that I'm not sponsored by um, any of the companies or businesses that I use to create this clicker press. Um, I purchased everything with my own money, and uh, this video is just me sharing uh, my journey on expanding my shop and uh, saving a buck or two on a clicker press. So to begin with, uh, here you see me setting up the uh, the most expensive part of the clicker press and that is the shop press that I purchased from Harbor Freight um, it is listed for $184 um, however I had a 20% coupon and I used that while they were having a sale so I walked away uh, spending $130 for this 20 ton arbor press um, I recommend that um, you definitely use a coupon and, and get a sale. Um, however, $184 is not a killer for me. Uh, the setup was really simple. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into uh, the setup, but it took me about 30 minutes by myself. Um, I'm sure if I had my wife to help kind of hold everything in place for me while I bolted everything down, I could have done it in about half the time. Um, it is very heavy. Um, as far as being sturdy, um, I, I would say that I, if I could, I would bolt it to the floor. However, um, I don't feel like drilling into my concrete floor in my garage, so I'll probably use um, some sandbags, and I think that would help stabilize it. The next piece that I bought for the clicker press was the cutting board. Now, I ordered this cutting board from uh, a website called Plastic Cutting Boards. And there you can customize uh, the dimensions of it. Obviously, you can use like regular kitchen cutting boards, you know, from Walmart or Sam's or HEB or something like that and spend a lot less money. However, um, this site is super easy on you know picking your dimensions um, you know your colors stuff like that you can you know if you want to get fancy with it you can do um, you know they have tons of options you know it obviously costs more so I didn't really go with all those and I ended up spending around $35 after shipping and um, was super happy with the, the quality and the size that I received next I ordered um, the press plates for the, the die and here you see I also ordered um, some clicker dies and I got these from Texas Custom Dies. They were super helpful in kind of directing me um, in the way that I should go as far as this build. Um, they offered to sell me um, two press plates. They're uh, 3 8 inch thick and measure 12 by 12 inches which fit perfectly um, as you'll see here um, I did not need the arbor plates and I'm gonna say that this is mainly to the thickness of the cutting board that I choose uh, chose um, and as you see the, the install after that is is really easy um, I'm not going to include the the price of the dies 
in this uh, in this video because uh, that's I, I believe that's something extra. You know, um, there's die makers all over the place, but uh, the the main components of this clicker press would be the Harbor Freight uh, shop press, the plastic cutting board, and then the press plates that I got from Texas Custom Dies. Um, as far as the price for the press plates, um, I purchased those for $48 each plus shipping and handling. Um, that ran me about $120. So I'm going to advise right there. That's that's where that's the direction I chose to go. Obviously, um, there's probably cheaper methods uh, of getting steel plate, um, you know, which is just, you know, more power to you. You're going to have a, 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 you know, you're going to pay less money for uh, your clicker press. Um, so in total, I, I spent $130 on the shop press. Uh, $35 on the plastic cutting board and then $120 on the press plates from Texas Custom Dies for a grand total of $285. So for under $300, you have a full functioning clicker press that um, works extremely well. It totally beats cutting out everything by hand. Um, and then if you go to Texas Custom Dies. Um, they are renowned for their, their leather dies. They work very closely with Tandy Leather, and I was extremely impressed with the build quality, sharpness, and uh, care they took to make my custom orders. Um, I hope this helps you all out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope you all subscribe. Again, I appreciate all my newest subscribers, and I look forward to bringing you new videos in the future. Y'all have a great day.